So you understand, the good thing is you understand the basics. You know you've got to shoot in front of them. You know what we need to do is try and put some kind of um, discipline moves in there to match the, the knowledge that you already have. So what we're going to try and do in the first session is just simply try and put some basics into place. So, if I said to you, the kill point. So why do you think I asked you to shoot two of everything? What do you think I'd be looking for? Consistency. Yeah. So I'm looking for what you do consistently, but more importantly, what you do inconsistently. What don't you do the same each time? That's my job to fix. So the reason I asked you to shoot two is to see if your whole point, your viewpoint, and your kill point mm -hmm. stay the same. So if we work on the thesis that if I asked you a question, mm -hmm. I probably already know the answer. I'm just going to see if you mm -hmm. know the answer is how we're working. So if I say to you the kill point, what does kill point mean to you? Where you're gonna kill it, where you're gonna shoot. Good, where are we gonna kill it? How would you pick that? Do you not pick that? Do you just shoot it when it feels right? Or do you stick to a structured program? Right, where I would pick it up at. No, no, forget that for a minute. Just the kill point. The kill point, I would feel it's nightmare. Yeah, and that's what happened. That's why mm -hmm. they, not, if you look, none of them were in the same place. Mm -hmm. Yes, you killed them, but we killed one early, one late. Mm -hmm. What we're going to try and do is put that structure in. That's going to take mm -hmm. you from C to A simply by mm -hmm. sticking to structure. So the kill point, we're going to use two words, which is edges and biggest. Okay? Mm -hmm. So where you can see the specific edges of the clay, the front and the back, and the most surface area. So we're going to combine those two. That's going to be our kill point. Mm -hmm. And at your level, I'm going to give you a meter square window. Mm -hmm of tolerance. So if we're outside that window, we've missed the kill point and we've missed mm -hmm. the opportunity to break that target. So for this diagram, the kill point is going to be just there. Viewpoint, what's the viewpoint? Can you pick it up? Where we see it first. So it's two things there. It's where we see it first, but it's also where your eyes must be when you call pull. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we've got our viewpoint over here. Okay, mm -hmm. so now we've got two. We've got a viewpoint and we've got our kill point. So now the whole point, where should that be? Where do you think it should be? Do you pay attention to it or do you just put the gun into a space and... No, well, the way I look, I would say, I used to go back far too far to the trap and then you're, yeah. you're racing it. So I would, when you, call, when you watch your tires and see them, I say, well, look, I see the target at the most clearest there. Yeah. Get on to it. And then shoot it in between. Yeah, yeah. and that's pr pretty much honesty, and that's what I want. Unless, if you be honest, I can push you forward, yes. but we're still too close to the machine. Mm -hmm. And again, you know, we've just probably took, I don't know, Mark, what would you reckon all that weight? Oh, Christ, there must be five, six shells. Yeah. Out of the you're talking so probably eight, nine ounces, including, yeah. including the socket. So it took nine ounces out of the gun. Mm -hmm. Now, if you imagine starting too far back with that gun, when it started, you had no chance yeah. of stopping it. Yeah. It was going and that was, we yeah, they were never gonna recover. So what I want you to do is work on a halfway hold point. So where we see it first and where we pick it clearest, we're gonna start exactly in the middle, but more specifically on line. Your barrels are always low. So your first move is up. Mm -hmm. And then we think we're gonna connect, but by the time we get up, the clay's already gone past. And now we have to put, again, put far too much energy in mm -hmm. to get after it. Mm -hmm. So I want you specifically online, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, as we discussed out there, which ones do we shoot gun down, which ones do we shoot gun up? What do you think on this diagram there will, will dictate which mount we're gonna use? Look, say that again, just don't be so, so when we shot the two crosses, you shot them gun yes, down. Yes, I had the tail. The tail when we shot the tail, we tried to shoot it gun down, mm -hmm. and we were going to find yes. ourselves in trouble. Yeah. So the distance, <clears throat> not so much distance, that's a bad word. <clears throat> the time between the viewpoint and the hold point. 
Mm -hmm. This will dictate your mount. Just say, for instance, you take a second and a half to mount. Mm -hmm. If that gets from the viewpoint to the hold point in less than that, mm -hmm. you've just lost the race. Mm -hmm. And the first race we, can, we, we sign up to in this is the race to the hold point. Mm -hmm. Whoever gets to the hold point first mm -hmm. is probably going to win. Mm -hmm. And quite often, like I say, you're losing that race. Yeah. So we need to be at the hold point, fully mounted and comfortable, just before the clay gets there. We don't want to be sitting there waiting mm -hmm. either. Yeah. So if you start to gauge the time, so the, the incomer, gun down. Mm -hmm. The big E midi from the right, gun down. The teal, mounted. That fast batu that we just finished with, mm -hmm. mounted, because it's going to get to the whole point before, before you, good. correct. Mm -hmm. So that's something else we're going to work on. And then we're going to look at methods quickly. I want to double up on things. What method do you think you shoot? I I personally I will, I've tried to shoot other way. I like maintain maintain the lead. Okay. I like to be see you see the target coming and we say I read down so there's the target. I like okay. I've never shot at any other road and but to you, me that feels comfortable. You've never shot maintain lead once out there. I never did. No. See I always thought that I did. No. no. But I always feel like I want to have the gun. I want to say that the the target was buying and they pull the gun through it. I like to have the gun nearly all the time tied yeah. down front. But you never did that once. Never did it once. But that might, like I was explaining this to Mark yesterday, we can actually talk ourselves into believing we're mm. doing something. Mm. I, feel, I feel like yeah. I'm doing that. And I think what happens is, you see, because you Why shoot not? gun down, yeah. Yeah. you see the clay coming, oh, that's it, yeah. and you say, right, I'm going to get in front of it. And by mm. the time you get to the mount, it's gone. Mm. So now we're going... Ah, yes. So your initial start is most definitely mm -hmm. in front, but by the time you get to the whole ah, point, yeah, it's yeah. already gone. So you're actually shooting almost like a hybrid. Ah, we well, start in front. I know, I know it was weird. <laughs> yeah, but nothing wrong with it. But by the time you complete the mount, the clay's now in front of you, know, and now I, we shoot swing through. I, I, I so it's, it's like a maintained mm -hmm. into swing through. But if we just look at a quick table, because I'm not going to make you do something without explaining it to you. Mm -hmm. We've got... Maintain lead, we've got pull away, and we've got swing through, okay? What's, name me three things that we must know about the clay to break the clay. Three things that yeah, we must know about the clay. that we must know about the clay. The gun must be on the right position. Yeah, yeah, so that's the lead. So the lead Speed. is down here. So we must know the correct lead. Speed. Speed, perfect and line. line. Right. So let's look at the three methods. Does maintain lead give us the line of the clay? No. Mm, no. Can't do. Does swing through give us the line of the clay? Yeah. I would suggest yes because we swing mm. through the line. Does pull away give us the line? 100%. Mm -hmm. Okay, speed. Does maintain lead give us the speed? No. no. Does swing through give us the speed? No. no. Because we're swinging far faster than mm -hmm. it yeah. at all times. Does pull away give us the speed? 100%. Mm -hmm. Lead. Does maintain lead give us the lead? No. Mm -hmm. Does pull away give us the lead? No. Mm -hmm. And does swing through give us the lead? No. So here we've got three methods we can choose. We need to know three things about the clay to break it. Yeah. Swing through gives us one, pull away gives us two, and maintain lead gives us none. Mm -hmm. Which one do you want to try now? <laughs> <laughs> we may as well be using a method that guarantees us two of the three things we need. So then all we have to decide is the lead. Well, the way I look, I say a, a long, a, a far away crosser, I might sound stupid, I don't shoot at the clay, I shoot where it's good. Like, I see the clay and then I see the place to shoot at. Yeah, perfect. That's, but what but we to mean, me, I always thought that was, you're maintaining your lead. Because yeah. you're not, you see the clay and then you've totally blanked the clay and you know where the drums to be pointing and you pull the trigger. And but what's happened is, you're seeing, the, you're seeing your method through your eyes. Mm -hmm. So because you're looking in front of it, you believe Aye. the gun's there. Aye. So what we're gonna do is build the halfway hold point routine mm -hmm. into a method. Mm -hmm. So at the halfway hold point, what I want you to do is point directly at the clay. Mm -hmm. So as it gets to the hold point, you're gonna come up, point straight at the clay, and move with the clay wherever it goes mm -hmm. until I say now. Mm -hmm. When I say now, that doesn't mean shoot. I guarantee you at least twice, you will. Mm -hmm. You'll okay. bollocks, mm -hmm. <laughs> you'll pull the trigger. What now means, go ahead, 
and pull away mm -hmm. to your lead. To your list, okay. So what, you point at it, stay pointing at it till I say now, I'm mine now, move away. move away and do whatever it is you want to do. My job is to make you technically better. Mm -hmm. Your job's lead. I can go out there and tell you every lead you need and you'll shoot fantastic. But I've not improved you, I've improved me. The way I tell you, I shoot, the way I thought I shot in the team league, so a crossing board's coming, so I'd pull up and I would not, like, somebody would tell you how many feet, what lead he given. I never told anybody lead in my life. I would just say, look, I don't know, I'm just naturally going with yeah, yeah, my yeah. mind tells me yeah. to shoot. So if I'm going, I try to match the speed. Yeah. You understand? But what I want you to do now is go to the clay, uh, match uh, the speed. Uh, uh, and then go I know away what you're from saying. It. I've never actually. I've, but, I've tried, but to me, it didn't feel comfortable. But that's what you've just done. Well, you're, we'll just, you're just not you seeing go. it ah. in the right way. Yeah. So what we've got is this on top of this. Mm -hmm. In the first 20 minutes, mm -hmm. I do not care how many you hit. Mm -hmm. I may even say to you, right, man, that's the perfect shot. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean you hit it. Mm -hmm. That means technically, mm -hmm. we did the right things. Mm -hmm. The lead's wrong. Mm -hmm. The lead is up to you. Mm -hmm. Because I want you to get better. I want you to be better when I'm not here, mm -hmm. not just me sitting behind you like yeah. most instructors do, mm -hmm. and just tell you where you're missing. So we're going to try and put some structure okay, no in yeah. place. Okay, mate. Mm -hmm. Let's no go do it. Get up.